Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm Jim Cavanaugh. I'm a member of the board of the Yonkers uh, Parking Authority, and uh, I'd like to recognize our executive director, Lisa Marie I, is here, our deputy director, Jay McGlynn, and our director of uh, personnel, Susan Maros Victoria. Uh, we are all here from the Parking Authority today, and with the mayor, who I'm going to introduce in just a moment, but we're, we're here uh, really to just recognize not just a very important person and, and his family, but a little bit of Yonkers history. Uh, you know, when you think about the parking authority, you, you think of garages and parking spaces, but it, it didn't all just happen. There's, there's quite a history to it, uh, and we really want to thank a member of, uh, of uh, Louis Georgie's family, his son Chris, who, 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 who came to the mayor a few months ago with a lot of information about his father and history about how the parking authority started and it's about how someone who had a little bit of an idea and a vision to create something that this this community really needed so uh, that's why we're here um, and uh, my job is to introduce a few members of the of the family and we're so glad you could come here today um, uh, unfortunately uh, uh, Lewis's wife uh, Sylvia passed away in, in September of 2013, but we, we certainly want to give her recognition as, as being part of this wonderful family and I'm sure helping Louis Georgie in his efforts. Uh, but here, to, here today is uh, uh, Louis's brother Joe and his wife Maureen, his sister Mina and her husband Artie, his sister Sandra and her uh, partner Doug, uh, his son Christopher and his wife Jill, his grandsons Matthew and Alexander, his daughter, granddaughter, excuse me, Laura, uh, his aunt Josephine and uncle Chubby Costantini, his cousins Leanna and Mike Constantini, Sonny and Ken Stabile, and Annette and John Donatio, uh, and also a longtime family friend uh, who many of us in Yonkers know, and that's Tony Flower. So those are all the folks who are, are with us today. Um, I'm going to introduce Mayor Spano, who, when, when Chris Georgie went to City Hall and said, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the parking authority, uh, how it came to be, and my father's role in it, in the hopes that perhaps there might be some recognition, the mayor uh, really thought that was a wonderful thing. And so he came to us at the parking authority and said, this is, a, this is an individual who really helped make Yonkers uh, what it is, is someone who was a, a, a proud member of the business community. His family's still around here. Uh, we really need to do something to, to honor him and his memory. And so, uh, at the mayor's urging, we quickly agreed it was a good idea, uh, and here we are today. And so, uh, with great pleasure, I would like to introduce Mayor Mike Spano. Thank you. Thank you, Jim Cavanaugh, to uh, Steve Levy, to the members of the board, to Lisa, uh, and to uh, the team, uh, Jamie, and, and the rest of the team that's here today. Uh, and doing such a great job for it, for each and every one of us here in Yonkers. Uh, Jim Cavanaugh uh, is always somebody I can, I can depend upon. He's a good friend and, uh, and someone who uh, always works so very, very hard. So again, thanks to Jim Cavanaugh. Uh, I want to recognize the Georgie family, uh, especially many of whom came here from out of town. And, uh, and, that's, and, it, and that's great to see. In Yonkers, we like when people come and visit. Uh, we want you to come, maybe do a little shopping, uh, and spend a little time in our city, and uh, that's always a lot of fun. And Sylvia Georgie, who passed away nearly two years ago, uh, certainly uh, is somebody that is, is, you know, the person that's there, uh, who was there for the longest time, making this all work. Um, you know, let's face it, you don't, you can't make real success unless you have somebody strong behind you. And uh, to uh, to Christopher, uh, who brought this idea to my office, I want to say thank you. Um, these are, this is a very important part of our history that we shouldn't forget. Uh, those who knew Lewis knew him as a loving father, a devoted husband, a veteran of World War II, and a local successful businessman. Uh, he was an extremely talented photographer and artist, uh, one of the very few in Yonkers at the time, which made him the go-to photographer in our city. Uh, but Lewis was also a community leader. Uh, he was an advocate, someone who was dedicated to making the place he lived, his city, uh, a better place for people to live for generations to come. And he did that. And that's why we're here today. In the 1960s, Lewis, uh, whose studio was located on New Main Street, 
Uh, then later on Lockwood Avenue, rallied fellow merchants to solve the par parking problems. That sounds very familiar, doesn't it? The parking problems here in Getty Square. Uh, the problems uh, <clears throat> that there wasn't enough parking for the customers downtown. And if you want your businesses to grow, you need to make you need to make getting there and shopping there that much more that much easier for the people who live here. Uh, in 1963, Lewis and fellow merchants delivered more than get this 3,000 signatures to then Mayor John Flynn at City Hall, advocating for the creation of a parking authority. And as mayor, I can tell you that's a lot of petitions because uh, usually if you get 100, you know that there's there's a cry for help. When you get 3,000, that's uh, that's um, quite the uh, the number. One year later, in 1964, the parking authority was was created. Uh, the year I was born, and so today, more than 50 years later, and 16 years after Lewis has passed away, we will recognize Lewis Georgie for his contribution to our great city of Yonkers with the naming of this lot. Uh, something that we should always do. Remember those who have been there before us, those who have made uh, the path that much easier, those who have given of themselves to make our community better. So uh, with that, I have a, pro a, a proclamation. On behalf of myself, on behalf of the Councilman Chris Johnson, who's here today uh, with me as well, uh, to uh, for Lewis A. Georgie, the engine parking lot renaming, uh, this day is a great day for your family. Thank you for your commitment. And uh, I'd like to ask Christopher to come up. Is it Christopher? Let's say a few words. Thank you, Thank you so much. You. I'll put this back down. I'll let okay. you say a few words. Thank you. And then we'll do the unveil. Okay. Thank you. Welcome to this special day for our father, Louis A. Georgie. Our family, relatives, friends, honored guests, citizens of Yonkers, and to anyone who has a desire to make a positive change. This rededication ceremony is proof that with hard work, an individual can make a difference. In 1960, Lewis, a professional master photographer and owner of Georgie's Studio, located right down the street from this very spot at 286 New Main Street. He realized that parking was a problem that needed a solution. He gave birth to a common sense idea that Yonkers should have an agency that would organize and supply parking for patrons. With the intent to convert his idea into a reality, he formed the Park Hill Merchants Association. He enlisted the help of other area store owners, notably Mancuso Furniture, Gambadella Garage, and Flower Funeral Home. Together they embarked on a four-year campaign. Success was at hand in June of 1964 when they presented then Mayor Johnny e. Flynn with a signed petition bearing the signatures of 6,000 Yonkers citizens, all favoring the creation of what the merchants called the Yonkers Parking Authority. Later that year, the petition was signed into law and the Yonkers Parking Authority became an entity. If Lewis was here today, he would be extremely honored and gracious accepting this recognition. Yonkers was the city he loved, chose to live, raise a family, and operate his business. On behalf of Lewis, we accept this honor and acknowledge his place in Yonkers history. But we owe a debt of gratitude. First and foremost, we would like to thank our honorable mayor, Mr. Mike Spano, for his leadership, cooperation, and commitment to this event. Also to members of his staff, Shanae for putting me in contact with Mr. Eddie Ayala, who enthusiastically accepted our project and for whom all of his hard work made this ceremony possible. Thank you, Eddie. And to Jim Kavanaugh, the YPA, and all of his fellow board members for providing validation by applying their seal of approval and selecting this historic location. And to Mr. Tony Flower of Flower Funeral Home, a longtime family friend who in the beginning provided me with firsthand information and accounts of these events and gave me the motivation to begin my journey. Thank you, Tony. And to our mother Sylvia and wife 
who I know spent much of her time rolling her eyes behind Lou's back. And once, out of sheer frustration, proclaimed, quote, Lou, are you in business to make money or what? Unquote. <laughs> but sadly, who could not be here with us today to witness and take part in this celebration. On behalf of my family, I want to thank each and every one of you for your love and support. Thank you, and God bless the city of Yonkers. Hi, my name is uh, Joseph. I'm the eldest son of my father, Louis. Speaking of the mic. Uh, I just want to, I'm going to be very brief. Um, I want to thank my brother for the fine work he did. Uh, all the dignitaries and family and friends that are here to dedicate this to my dad. Um, I'm going to be very general. I'm not going to be so specific. I'm going to simply state that my dad cared a lot for this country, number one. Uh, he appreciated the freedom and opportunity it provided him in choosing his path in life. As a veteran, he would uh, often say freedom was something you can never take for granted. He also cared a great deal for the city of Yonkers and its people who supported him and his family in establishing a very successful photography business for 40 years. Apparently, he saw an opportunity to give back to the city he loved. And with the help of city leaders, including Mayor Flynn, business merchants, he helped form the Yonkers Parking Authority in 1964. The success of the authority can be measured by the fact that after 50 plus years, it remains an integral part of the city and continues to help local businesses benefit directly from it. My dad would be very grateful to all those who came out to honor him today. In speaking for him, I can say he was truly a dedicated, responsible, civic-minded American. Thank you.